Hey y'all, it's Sarah, and look at me, I'm doing a little more crafting. Um, this is not a major tutorial, I'm just sitting here making something for a friend. She needed a new little wreath for her front door, and I had um, some Dollar Tree things that I knew I could just whip something quick and cute together. So I figured if I was going to go ahead and do that, I'd flip on the camera and see if you wanted to hang out and do one with me really quick. I'm just going to show you. I'm using a couple Dollar Tree things. This is one of their little, they call it a bamboo wreath. I usually call these grapevine wreaths, but um, I just have one of those. Um, two, actually. So, we'll, we'll, I'll be using two. I've got some of these Dollar Tree stems. Um, these are called amaranthus. So, I've got some of these. I've already cut them loose. Um, I actually got them for something else because I thought that they would go down into a, a really tall jar nicely, but they weren't quite long enough for that, so I still want to get some use out of them. Um, I've cut down three bunches of them, which gives you a really good amount. I've got just some stray greenery over here that was cut off of some Dollar Tree stems. I may pop in there just because I only had these couple strays left. Um, I've got just some Dollar Tree zip ties. Uh, if you're one that hot glues your wreath, that's fine. I like to use zip ties so that if I want to take it apart or if my friend decides she wants to take it apart, she can. Um, I'm also going to be using a little bit of white um, Waverly chalk paint. Um, this video is sponsored by Plaid who has sent me some wonderful choices in the Waverly. So thank you, Plaid. Um, got a little paintbrush. I'm going to paint some of these and you'll see why. Um, these are actually really cute stems. However, I do want to point out that if you look, they've got this little piece right here, which is nice, um, but it is kind of plasticky looking. I mean, it, it starts at green and it fades to white. And I'm just going to kind of enhance that white a little bit. Um, by the way, this wreath uh, for my friend's door is going on the inside of her door. She's got a little window that she tries to get privacy with and doesn't need really big. So this is a cute little summary idea. So I want to go ahead and jump into what I'm doing. One of these wreath forms I'm keeping intact. The other one I have cut the strings off and all I did was clip you can kind of see this one right here I would be able to just unknot right where it is tied and I just unwound all of it and I kept the twine because I'm sure I'll use it for something else and my end result is this right here so I'm going to use these as they are I want this little bit of curve in it but I do want to tell you that um, I've been asked with some of my floral arrangements uh, the sticks that are in them, that's where these come from, is the Dollar Tree wreath. I take them, soak them in some really hot water for, uh, it doesn't even take all that long. Soaked them in really, really hot water. Got out my heat gun, but you could use your blow dryer. And I straighten them out while they're wet. Now, these are dry ones, so they won't straighten the same way. But while they were still wet, I straightened them out across my countertop and took um, my heat gun and ran across them and straightened them out wonderfully and got a nice bundle of um, stems to really give kind of that natural look to an arrangement. You can really shape them well once you've wet them and um, using a dryer. So I wanted to point that out really quick. I'm just going to leave these curved because of the type of um, wreath I'm trying to make. I saw something similar I want to say on Magnolia Home. I'll have to look. I know I have it screenshotted somewhere, but it was it was a very natural looking kind of wreath. And um, it, it just was kind of like a wild flower wreath. So I am going to try to do the same thing. This stuff is messy for less than the 90 something dollar price tag that I saw on it. So this is pretty simple. Um, I'm going to start with this part first. And literally, I'm going to just go in and start tucking these in. And to be honest, I usually try to look where 
the twine is wrapped around because they have it pretty evenly spaced. So that usually kind of helps me gauge where, how far out to space these things. So I'll skip like every couple and attach them and then go back in and fill in. So like I'm going every second or third wrap of that twine to do this. That way it just kind of helps me eyeball that I'm getting the coverage on there good. And I'm fighting with it guys. My coordination is not great. So if it looks like it's really hard, it's not. It's just me. And I'm keeping all of these swooping kind of the same direction. Their they're kind of natural flow there is where I want to go with this. And you can usually get them tucked in really, really well. By the time we get this full, you're not going to see those intertwined. If you are a hot gluer that hot glues your piece, pieces in, you can go ahead now and start gluing them down as you go. That way you're not fighting with all these long pieces later to glue them in but typically by the time you wedge these in here really good and i usually will throw a few strategic zip ties to tighten around it um it's usually pretty stable so you can kind of see where this is going it's going to give like this this kind of natural look um I'm going to pause here for a moment and continue to fill in this part and then I'll show you what I'm going to do next, which is also really simple, same premise. And then we're going to add a few details. All my little stems are in place and I, instead of just using um, my zip ties, I figured this would come in handy. So I'm just using the twine and um, going in kind of strategically in places where they're um, sticking out kind of like that. I have just attached them in place with the twine. It blends in with what was already on there and just secures them in place. And I still have enough left that when I get ready to add these other pieces, this kind of helps with some of these stems because they're long and um, a little bit droopy. It kind of helps control the direction that they droop to. If that makes any sense. So if you've got any that are like going really crazy on you, um, you can just kind of go in and put a few little attachment points and really control the way that they swoop around. I'm not going to do the rest of them because I'm going to end up adding some more twine as I add these. So um, I'll just attach any other strays as I get through this. So I'm going to come in now with these individual pieces and I'm just going to start doing the same thing. I'm going to tuck them in. They slide in there so much easier weirdly enough than the straight stems on those other parts. You can make this as full or as sparse as you want to but I still try to do the same thing where I go around and um, get some spacing done and then I go back in and fill. Um, so I'm still kind of looking at, uh, the little twine notches, thinking of it like, um, clock hands or clock numbers rather, and locating them there. And you can cut these down super simple. Um, none of these stems are really thick, so if you have them, because you can see they're definitely lots of different lengths in there if you have some that are too long or maybe they're a little um they're little extra branches that come off of them don't start until way down you can notch some of that off so i'm just going to do the same thing i'm going to go in and fill this in um, you can kind of see it's starting to have kind of that um kind of that wild natural look um, which is what I'm going for. And for just a few dollars, this ends up going from that small little um, simple Dollar Tree wreath and to um, something that's actually a little bit more. I mean, I think just adding the extra sprigs off of another wreath really give it a little bit of size. 
and we'll just keep going around and filling this in and it's pretty much all I had on this but since I was doing it anyway I wanted to share it I'm sure that there's plenty of Dollar Tree wreath tutorials out there but I was already making this um, so I figured I'd share anyway I don't know I have not I've not watched any videos I've not kept up with anybody. I didn't, I haven't really since I started doing my own videos. I haven't really watched anybody. But even when I wasn't able to be making any, I didn't watch anybody because it just made me sad that I could not be crafting too. So you can kind of see how nice that's going to be. I'm going to go ahead and fill this in and um, I'll show you what I mean about tying down. I'm going to see if maybe I can poke in these few little um, these little pieces just to get them uh, out of my stash I think they'll blend in nicely I probably will try to do it as individual leaves maybe um, and get more throughout there but we'll get to that and then I want to show you um, once these little branches are on there I want to show you what I was going to do to kind of dress this part up just a little bit Okay, guys, I totally lied to you. I'm not actually going to add the little um, other little stray strands of greenery that I had. I'm really liking where I stand kind of at this moment. Um, you can kind of see where she kind of is at. And you can see I still have quite a bit left. I could do a whole nother one of these if I wanted to. I did want to show that these little wreaths, um, by the way, these particular ones are the exact same size as these little metal things. Um, these little welcome circles that Dollar Tree has. So that right there, just an easy addition. I mean, it is spot on size wise. You could easily add something like that. I'm going to show you now what I was going to um, do to these little flowers. I'm just taking my white chalk paint and these, there's nothing truly wrong with them. And once everything's put together, it's really not that bad. But they have a very, very plastic look to me. The white really looks plasticky. So by using the chalk paint, it's almost going to give it like a little bit of texture, almost like a little bit of flocking texture. So I feel like that's going to kind of just a hair do a little something more for that really plastic. Like this one here, um, definitely very plasticky looking. And you kind of see, it's no big deal. I'm just, I'm not even doing all of it. I'm just brushing a little bit on there to take away from that. Uh, if you've seen these in the store, you know what I mean. The They're... They're really a good value, don't get me wrong, but they could use just a little help. Oh, that one's actually really big. But you can see it's nothing, it's nothing super hard to do. It just, um, it just helps those that look really, really plasticky. Like this one doesn't even have any of the variation um, in color. It really does look like just green plastic. So just a little bit of detail. This little wreath, this whole thing now went from a small little 12 inch wreath to a, a decent size. And um, I think this will work really well for my friend because it will give her that little bit of privacy on the little small window on her door. Um, but with the way that it's made, she should still be able to see out that actual window. So I thought this was a cute idea. I like the kind of natural look to it. And since I had the supplies on hand already. So I'm just going to keep doing this to all those little flowers. But um, for the most part, I've, I'm calling this good. Um, I may go in and 
um, tighten up any stems just to make sure um, that I've got them attached down really well with my twine and maybe kind of tweak and adjust where some oops that one's an outsider that got stuck in there um, maybe just tweak and adjust anywhere they might lie down but for the most part that was it it was pretty simple um, I think it's a cute little simple wreath um, I kind of feel like I want one to hang off of one of my little um, blanket ladders now I feel like it's pretty cute for this time of year so I may have to make me one since I still do have a couple stems left and that's it guys uh, I hope you enjoyed hanging out with me and doing just a quick little craft. This one was pretty easy, I think. And um, I'm happy to be able to even be doing something this easy. You guys, I wish I could explain to you how joyful I am right now to be functioning. I am a busy body person and to not be able to be zooming around being all busybody has just about driven me crazy um are you one of those kind of people or any of you that kind of person you always have to be busy you always have to be just doing i am one of those people I, if even if it's something silly like organizing a drawer while watching a television show i have to be doing i have to be um, I have to keep myself busy. So this has been a very trying time. I'm so glad to be back. You guys are likely going to be sick of me. I don't know how long um, I'll get to be back. But I'm going to enjoy it while I can. I hope you don't get too tired of all the random crafts because there's so many different things over the last few months that I've really wanted to do that I have not been able to do. So now I've kind of got crafty um, ADHD and I cannot focus because I want to do them all at once. I want to make all the pretty things all right now. Um, so I'm struggling with that now at this point because I'm still in limitations, but I hope this gives you some kind of idea and um, really fun ways to use these things. I absolutely love the little bit of natural element that um, just having a little of this. You can see I didn't even really use that many stems on this, but it did add um, kind of a nice whimsical natural element to this little bitty small petite wreath. So that's all I've got. I'm going to let this sit and dry before I do any adjustments on attachments to make sure that it hangs nicely. And that's it. Thanks for putting up with me, guys, and for those of you that just came along for this as time to craft, thanks for hanging out with me. Um, I have I have needed some craft therapy, and I'm so glad to share it with you guys. That's all I got. I'll be back later with something else. I've got a list full today. Bye, y'all.